I think there's other people out there, like us. Like humans? You think there's other humans? Yeah. Just on not? the other Pleasant. side of the universe, I yeah. guess, yeah. Yeah. You know, why not? Why not? You know, maybe they doing a YouTube channel right now. They know, yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs>up youtube it's pi forever and today we'll be watching how the universe is way bigger than you think yes Ooh. that sounds uh that sounds, sounds deep it sounds interesting man. i never even gave them much thought yeah. but if you're new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe and share this out with your friends and family also make sure you hit that notification bell to be updated by any new content <laughs> Follow us on social media, the links are listed below. And check us out on Patreon so you can enter any of our contests and giveaways we have going on. Yes, sir. So how big do you think that universe really is, Will? It's infinite. The universe is infinite. It goes on forever. It's not just one big empty space. Know, it's just full of stuff. Long as my rent paid, I don't know. Oh, yeah, let's check this out. <laughs> This is a real-life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. This is Earth. All right. You live here on this planet somewhere, Earth and everything world. that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest yeah, cosmic neighbor, me. the moon. Probably. You may think that the moon is I'm very thinking. close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away, 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. It's you could fit away. 30 entire Earths in between yeah, this distance. Just and wait to see how far the sun is away from us and we still feel this heat. That is sun like 95 million miles away from us. That's impressive. The That's entire impressive. distance. <laughs> Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. And one of humanity's greatest think about achievements. Their wheel. Think about that. This is what they the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted you to communicate with there, somebody back can... at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. Oh. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, okay. which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. Mm -hmm. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and <laughs> economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals. Every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there wow. on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam.
Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest uh, other star to us other distance. than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. No. When we zoom out Damn. even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. Hmm. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there, zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further, and we can see the Virgo Supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just Thanks like our own local group May, inside yes. of here, and the distance from one side <laughs> to the just other is a mind-numbing so 100 so maybe they know about million us, light know about years. That. But even point. the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other right. is I've got a telescope when you look at million me. light years, oh, but from even the there we can zoom out all out the way to the entire observable it. universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster bigger? is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. What? This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together hmm. contain more There's stars than there, there are grains of sand Gotta on be. the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, me, is what actually part. lies beyond the observable universe. That's Keep in mind that the observable universe. universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely so possible that the rest see. of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's wow. history to reach us yet back on Earth. Wow. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, what? and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like oh, this, man, with this many zeros. Over. 
Let the observer <laughs> in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Well, just leave them alone. Nope. This video was made possible <laughs> by Squarespace. If you are wanting to create good. a new website we for your next project, Squarespace no, 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 is the easiest way of doing it. I've used them before for several different no, projects, man. and what I think is it best about them is that you don't need any programming <laughs> skills in order to make a beautiful website. It's incredibly crazy. easy and can be done in just a few minutes, and there's all... Wow. Yeah, I think the universe is too big for us to just be the only people. Only people, yeah, yeah, me too. Or life forms, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think it's other people that pick, like us. Like humans? You think it's other yeah. Why why not? On the other like, side of the universe, yeah. I guess, yeah. Yep. You know, why not? Why not? You know, maybe they doing a YouTube channel right now. They know, yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you know? I like that. Man. Good luck to y'all on the other side of the universe. That's right. Maybe this signal will reach you. Yes. Eventually. One day. One day. Like years. years. Yeah, light years. Anyway. Feel come small, Chris. It does. It makes you. It makes you. Uh, Ruined his Tuesday. It, does. it makes you realize how small <laughs> you are. Because I, like I said, I sit back and think, you know, how hot it is outside, and the sun is like not even nowhere, nowhere near, near us. Yeah. It's like ninety-five million. And we talking about hundred degree weather. And you know. Mm, mm. And it's like, I ain't even close to y'all, dude. Yeah, you better stop playing. <laughs> yeah. If I, I inch up on you, if I, if I come at you, like, I'll fry you. Like, you know, like, yeah, mother. Uh, okay. You know, but uh, what? Hey, that's how it is. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you think we're alone in the universe? Mm. Hmm. So you believe in like aliens? I mean, after I seeing this, I believe it's, it's possible anything. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. some weird looking people out there. Exactly, man. And like six arms and stuff. I hope it's a Thanos six out arms? there. Yeah. Like real, like the real deal Thanos. Yeah, out there. I hope it's like a Thanos. Dude. To come and throw a moon at, at you? He ain't got to throw it at me. He throw it at JC. He ain't got to throw it at me. I'm, I'm his fan. I'm cool with that. JC hadn't seen him in the movie. Oh, so. Ooh, yeah, he probably would. So he, <laughs> he, know, he didn't throw a moon at JC. That was not me. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>